Okay, guys, I never did a full video on this yet. I've been wanting to wait till it's done, and we got everything inside here. But yeah, guys, welcome to the greenhouse. If you guys have been watching the last couple years, wanted all my plant updates and stuff. Yeah, this is the next level we went to here, finally. Um, if you guys watched maybe four or five, six years ago, I did these plant updates every wintertime and every summertime. And if you don't remember, I used to have them in my, in my basement uh, under a grow light. Then they moved to the garage, and then some of them moved upstairs where it's a lot sunnier. Um, but yeah, so now this is a big upgrade. Spent, I think, a little bit over $1,300 on this greenhouse, and it is pretty awesome. So I'll give you guys a tour real quick of everything in here. So we have the passion fruit. Originally, I got this from when I went to um, San Diego. They had passion fruit in the store. Took one home, grew from seeds. I think there's about three different plants here combined. So this is actually from um, a fruit I got in San Diego. Fig tree, this is the the California hardy or um, Chicago hardy. So you can be picked a couple figs on already. We still got one left here on there. And then right below here is just a tropical fig right next to it. It's kind of hard to see the difference here. But a tropical fig can't really go. No, it doesn't do too well outside in the cold. Over here, we got the orange tree. Pretty massive. We upgraded it, so now it's in a giant garbage can. We have a bunch of holes. We got a bunch of holes on the bottom, too. So that's pretty cool. We got one fruit on it a couple years ago. But this is hard because going in and out of the garage with the grow lights, it didn't really do too well fruiting-wise. Um, so I think in here to be doing really good. Over here, we got the cactus pears. Again, this is also what I got from San Diego, and I planted the seeds, and we got a couple, and then we just kept two of them. So yeah, they're doing both good. This one actually should have been the same size, but this one accidentally broke in half uh, when I was bringing it inside for winter. Um, but it regenerated. You can see down here where it used to be, and then it regenerated back up. This one is from Hawaii. If you guys ever went to Hawaii, the lays you get on your when you get to the airport, um, these are where it comes in. I actually got these from seeds from the airport. If you guys ever in the airport in Hawaii, they have a lot of seeds and stuff. So I got a bunch of seeds from there. And these are the two plants I got. It's hard to kind of hard to see, but these are two different plants here. If you guys look down to the um, the base, you can see two different plants coming off there. So that's pretty cool. These are wine flower. They smell really, really good. And then over here, we have our oranges. Again, I know you guys probably seen these last year. I think I did an update last year sometime. Um, but these are all almost ready to go. They haven't grown since about... Probably around this time last year, it takes about nine months to a year for them to totally grow from being a baby like that all the way to here. Look how massive they are. These are Meyer lemons. Um, so they're doing really, really good. They have a ton over here. These all should be ready by next summer. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. We got a bunch of baby ones on here too. These ones will all be ready by around this time next year. So they take about nine months to a year to fully grow. So from from the, from here, not, if we go flash forward about nine months to a year from now, They'll be looking like these guys right here. These guys should be picked probably in a couple weeks. They're pretty, or almost ready to go. So they're doing good. Over here, we got pomegranates. They're doing really good. These will probably be ready by December. They're doing really good. We have a ton on here. Some of these plants are still trying to adapt being here. It is hot right here right now. When I open, the doors are open right now. If you guys look, the doors are open right now. The doors weren't open. It was 95 in here earlier. So it keeps really good. And the air temperature outside right now is about 57 degrees. So... Yeah, so when the sun comes in here, it really, really, really heats it up. Also, we have a heater down here, too, for at night. Or whenever it drops below 70 degrees. This is a dragon fruit one right here. We got this off of Amazon. It came, started like that. And then it grew a bunch of different, I guess you could say different fingers and stuff. So, this is doing really good. I think by summer, we should probably be getting, starting to get some dragon fruit, too. And then we have a bunch of, that's um, a strawberry. These are all strawberries here. And then... So over here we have the date tree. I got these from seeds. I got dates from Giant Eagle, and I planted the seeds. I planted down, I think it was around August or so. So this helped date. They're very, very slow growing. Coffee tree back there. Got that off of Amazon. So we used to have it a couple years ago. If you guys watched back, probably about five, six years ago, I used to have a coffee tree. And sadly, it didn't make it through one of the winters. But it was inside with a grow light too, so it was kind of surprising. But I think it got some kind of disease, and then we lost it. And here we got um, rheumatins, or I think it's called rheumatins or rambutins. Those are really, really kind of um, reddish, like they're kind of fuzzy-ish. Kind of hard to explain. I think, they're, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, but there are seeds are growing in there. It's like my third time trying them. They're very, very hard to grow. And then back here we have a banana tree, which is doing pretty good. If you guys watch it, it was outside. You guys probably see it in a couple of vlogs. So yeah, this is here. This is actually really, really hot here. But we can go to around here. We've got more, more strawberries in here. 
we are going to be getting ready to plant some tomatoes in here soon. Um, once we get, we're pretty much done with everything in here. So we have, we have room. We're probably going to put them around here. We're going to put them in pots. So we're going to have some tomatoes growing in the winter time here. So we have cherry tomatoes and then we got the, just a normal, normal tomato. So yeah, it's the green outside here. It's very hot. If you guys stand right here looking up, it is so hot right here. You can feel the heat radiating, but here's the outside guys. Take a little bit around. It's a pretty cool greenhouse. The only problem we have with it is the, this vent up here leaks a little bit and these doors don't shut all the way. There's a little bit of a gap. They're not exactly uh, very even. So that's the only complaints I really have about it. Other than that, it's doing a great job so far. We haven't really had any really, really cold temperatures yet, but we have the heater in there. So that's all ready to go. You can see a better view of the coffee plant doing well. See some of these from the back. We picked plenty of strawberries already. So everything's doing really good. So this is eight by, I think this is eight by 12. And then it is nine feet tall. Yeah, we, we have issues with a little bit of a roof. It leaks a little bit, so we put a little duct tape there. And this kept falling off. I mean, these are really the only complaints I have, and the door not closing all the way. But other than that, it's doing, I, I love it. It's really awesome. So if you guys want me to keep doing more of these updates like this, so let me know. And I'll go back to how it used to be. I'll start maybe once a week, we'll do a, a greenhouse update. So let me know. We'll go a little old school, guys. I know it's not really a traditional videos I do. But if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, let me know, and I'll keep keep doing doing them for you guys and the ducks are also gonna be moving in here very soon too so we're making a couple of last minute adjustments to that so bucko jr will be moving in here um very soon as well so i don't know if it's gonna be too hot for him in here but there's, gonna be, there's plenty of shade and it's pretty much gonna be like summer anyway because we our summers get that this hot anyway 90 95 degrees so i think he's be fine plus we're gonna have a pool in here for him um so he's gonna be fine so yeah guys but let me know if you guys are interested in me doing more updates every week and i'll start doing them for you guys so this is the greenhouse Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys later.